Rachel Williams from Mercedes. I'm a UNR graduate clinician here at the Speech and Hearing Clinic on campus. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. I know this appointment is rather late, so I do apologize about that, but hopefully we'll be able to quickly go through all the areas that we need to address in order to see kind of what's going on. Sounds good. So we're going to start with just a little bit of background. I okay. did get your voice history report that we sent in the email, so thank you for filling that out. Um, but I want to just hear in your own words from you here in person, what is going on? Okay, so the biggest thing is I am a new graduate student, so I am learning all about lack of sleep and the okay. immense amount of stress that a person can be under. Um, so I find that I'm, I'm really not getting a good amount of sleep each night, probably like five hours if even, um, and I just always feel stressed, um, and I feel tense all the time, um, and I feel like it's starting to impact my voice. Um, and when you say impact, what do you mean by that? I sort of, I feel like I talk in a more strained way, um, I get tired easily, I'm exhausted all the time, so I feel that both physically, mentally, and physically meeting like my voice so I don't know I just at grad school grad school it's a beast it is. I can definitely relate <laughs> um with you talking about having a strained voice you've obviously had a new occupation yes that has grad definitely school is had my job mm -hmm. when did you start to see the strain or just in general that that pain you were mentioning from the stress I feel like it started right when I started grad school or soon after so probably I think I've been in grad school now for like a month and a half so I'd say about a week into grad school I started to notice this um, and I've never had any vocal problems in the past I've never had like tonsillitis or anything so this is the first time that I'm really seeing something weird about my voice okay yeah no good to know I mean if you definitely had a past history, we want to know about that just to make sure it's not something from the past coming up again. Mm -hmm. uh, but because you said that it is relatively new, we do want to make sure we get a full picture of kind of what's going on. Right. Uh, do you have any medications you're currently on? Mm -hmm. Any allergies? To Seasonal. Um, mostly just cats. Okay. Um, but other than that, just seasonal. And then primary language? English. English. And you mentioned strain. Mm -hmm. Is there any pain that accompanies that? Not necessarily pain, but more just tightness. Okay. And would you say that your voice is better in the morning? Is it worse in the afternoon? Does it stay the same throughout the day? Better or worse at a certain particular time? I think it's better when I first wake up in the morning and then as I'm in class or clinic, I start to feel it get more and more tired, which makes sense because I'm getting physically more and more tired throughout mm -hmm. the day. Um, does it get better or does it take a long time for it to get back to what you consider your usual? So it depends on what the stress looks like that day or that week, um, but I find that in general um, it does get better at the, end of, at the end of the night after I've been home for a little bit, it starts to get better, but then it's right back to the same stuff the next day. So I find that like over the weekends when I have a little bit of time to relax, I it, it seems to get better. Is there anything you've been doing yourself to kind of help relax or anything that you, on your own that you've been doing that's been helping? I have been trying to drink some hot tea. Okay. Um, I also make sure to drink a lot of water um, throughout the day. And just, I've been trying to shoot to get in bed a little bit earlier um, so that I can get enough sleep because I know my body needs time to rest, my throat needs time to rest, that type of stuff. Absolutely. When you mention you're drinking a lot of water, what does that look like? I drink, this is my hydro flask, mm -hmm. I drink about three or four of these a day. Okay. Um, but then I do also drink uh, probably a 32 ounces worth of coffee okay um i don't know how much caffeine would be in that but probably about one of these worth of coffee um and then the occasional diet coke here and there okay and then weekly alcohol intake no i mean none and any smoking in the past 
Have you been around anybody who smoked? No, but I don't consider smoke in the air. Okay. Just environmental. So with all the fires going on. Yeah, it's been pretty smoky. I feel like it's starting to clear up now, um, but I've noticed that I can feel it definitely when it's in the air. So when it's smokier outside, it feels worse? Worse. More strain, more tense. Okay. Good to know. And then, so at work, just we're going to go through a little bit of various activities, just because okay. I want to know how much talking you're doing in the day. I know it's kind of hard. Most people don't think about how much talking you do in terms of hours, right. but I just want you to do your best estimate. estimate. Mm -hmm. okay. So talking without anything, just general talking to another person, by yourself. I talk to myself all the time. Honestly, probably a good seven hours a day. Okay. And then over a phone. So whether it's your Probably cell an phone. hour, an hour and a half. Okay. Uh, one on one conversation like we're having now. Three hours. And would you say that three hours is part of that whole seven? Yes. Yeah. And then in a group setting, I know COVID kind of prevents us from big groups, but smaller groups. Um, five. Yelling, cheering, just being excited in general. I know I have a really big personality, so Me I too. tend to talk a lot. I would say if it's if we're in like a big setting, probably like forty five minutes of the day is spent somehow trying to get a point across. Sure. Whispering. Not that much. Not often. No, I'm a I'm a loud person. So. No worries. <laughs> I know I find myself since I can't sit so close to people, I'm usually not whispering yes, either. Exactly. Which is very different. Um, how about imitating other people? So whether it's a teacher or a friend, probably if you're mom. five minutes. <laughs> okay. And do you find yourself doing any throat clearing? Sometimes. Okay. And I think that does definitely happen as the day goes on. Um, I don't. I definitely like minimal amounts, but I think as my voice gets more strained or different things like that, I notice it more. Do you know after what kind of speaking activities you usually clear your throat? If I've just been projecting my voice for a long time, I'm like, whoa, like my okay. voice is a little tired. But it's it's probably like three times a day. Um, definitely. Not after conversation. Usually if you're the one. No, it's very talking. infrequent. I would say it, I don't know, but I think it would probably be a normal amount. Sure. Okay. And then coughing. So that's not a, that's a. <laughs> oh, none. I mean, like when I'm sick, but. Sure. But on a usual average day. No. Okay. And then. When you exercise, I saw in your report that you're an avid cycler, so yes. that's good that you're getting your exercise in. Do you find yourself actually making noises? So you're going, uh, uh, <laughs> or uh, those types of things where it's not just a, uh, uh, where you're breathing. On occasion, but, yes. Okay, so actually, if you were to try to put that in hours. 50 minutes. Okay. No, mm, 30, 30. Because the classes are about 50 minutes, so sure. like, probably. Yes, yeah. and it's not, that's an I, I do it too, <laughs> absolutely. And singing. now. You might not be a professional singer, but I know I sing in the shower, I sing in the car, I sing with my friends. I sing an hour a day. An hour? Okay. I don't sing in front of other people, but that's I okay. sing in the shower. And any other vocal tasks or loads that you might think about we didn't talk about? Something that might stick out to you that you're like, wow, I actually do a lot of talking in this setting. Um, aside from like grad school related things, I really, I mean, that's my whole life right now. So sure. outside of grad school, nothing really. Okay, um, so since you're grad school, I know with COVID right now, there's a lot of Zoom calls, things like yeah. that. So, so I meet with a group, or my diagnostic group meets mm -hmm. via Zoom. Mm -hmm. So in order to make sure my client can hear me, I sometimes feel like I start shouting at the computer. Yep. Um, even though that's not what's helping, it's the Wi-Fi connection probably. Sure. So probably a good hour. Okay. Um, but I only Zoom about once a week so that's like an hour a week that I'm screaming at so a diagnostic clinic so how about with friends over zoom or mm, groups I'd say two hours total including all of that including so two to three a week FaceTiming sure. yeah and then are you around any type of chemicals or cleaning supplies. Yeah, um, I know with COVID we're around a lot of hand sanitizers, so sometimes there's like those aerosol sprays. I know we use here in our clinic to spray down between each patient. So are you using any of that or um nothing beyond the normal limit. I mean I don't I don't think I 
am really around chemicals that much. Um, but yes, definitely I'm hand sanitizing a lot. I'm washing my hands a lot. I'll wipe down my counters. So, but like nothing more than like a normal daily clean. So any, any aerosol type sprays? No. And then any temperature changes? Do you go anything someone's really cold, really hot throughout your entire day? I do work, or when I work out, I've been working out in the morning. So okay. I, after I work out, I'm being exposed to that cold temperature. So that could have something to do with it, but I never really thought about that before. Sure. And if you had to guesstimate, Ben, I mean, he's super accurate. 20 minutes. 20 minutes in, in the cold? In Between two. walking, yeah. Okay, so you're doing physical exercise while you're doing it? Yeah, as I'm walking to or from my car from the gym. Sure. And then temperature, if you had to guess, what's the temperature been? It's been like 46, 48 in the morning. And that would be degrees? Mm-hmm. And then the hottest that you're usually around in? I think the, the highest has gotten lately, lately is like 85-ish. Awesome. Now, moving a little bit into your background for your medical history, I, I read that thoroughly, so thank you for providing that. But I just want to clarify on a few areas. Uh, do you have any history of reflux, whether that's gastrointestinal, mm -hmm. or nothing? No okay. reflux. Do you take any antiacids, so like no. Hums when you're stressed, Pepto-Bismol, things that would just, in that whole system? No. Okay. And then do you take any behavioral medications, so any type of prescribed by therapy, mm -hmm. anything for yourself? Do you take any holistic type approaches, any type of herbs? Um, I mean, I take like vitamin D in the morning. I take a probiotic, I take Zyrtec. Okay, daily. so allergy medication? Yeah. Do you know what the dosage might be on that? 10 milligrams? Whatever the normal dosage, it's sure. just, I just buy it in the store. And then that vitamin D? 2,000 I use, I think it's measured in. And then you do that with or without food? With. Now you mentioned that you're not a big singer, so any past history of singing, <laughs> choirs, church, mm -hmm. nothing like that, school plays, theater. My school didn't have that type of stuff. That is okay. Otherwise, I'd probably have done it. No worries. Okay, so thank you for answering all those questions. I know it's a lot, but it helps me get a better idea of what you're thinking about your whole environment that you're speaking Absolutely. in. Absolutely. It gives us a lot of really great clues in putting together the whole puzzle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a quick hearing screening just okay. to check to make sure everything's working like it should there. So we'll do that. After that, we'll then go ahead and do an oral motor exam. Okay. So we're going to check to make sure everything on your face is working like it should. There's no holes where there shouldn't be holes. Um, and then that'll let us know a little bit more about the functioning of all the different components that relate to your voice performance. Okay. okay? So let me go ahead and get that set up. So we're going to be using an audiometer. So this is a really neat tool. Um, and let's just, just give you different frequencies so we can measure your hearing across different contexts. Very cool. So that's important, right? Versus the trough, right. your speech, they kind of sound different. Yes. So that's why we want to know. Absolutely. So these are our lovely headphones. I know they're not as fancy as AirPods, so I apologize <laughs> for that. But I'm going to have you put these on your head in just a moment. When they're on your head, I want you to make sure they're nice and snug. Your hair is moved out of your ears, so that way it's a nice close seal. Okay. It is a little tight though, so just be aware of that. Okay. When you put these on, I'm gonna have you then face that way so that you're not looking at me over here because it's a little bit of a quiz going on. And okay. when you hear any sound, I want you to raise your hand on the side you hear it. So if you hear a sound in your right ear, raise your right hand. Okay. If you wanna hear it on the left, raise your hand. Okay. Right. So I'm gonna hand you those, go ahead and put them on. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready and they're comfortable. Ooh. And then go ahead and make sure that hair is moved right out of the way. Yeah, they're a little tricky to get on. Perfect. Okay. Good to okay. go. Mm -hmm. Okay.
everything looks good there. You did a great job. Yay. The nap, no one will rate typical, which is awesome. So now I know you can hear all my questions. <laughs> okay, so like I said, we're gonna go ahead and move on to that oral motor exam. Okay. So what I'm gonna be doing is a few things. First, I'm gonna be looking at just kind of some of the structures in your face. Um, looking at the colors of different areas just to make sure everything looks healthy and okay. there's nothing going on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look inside your mouth as well as outside um, okay. in terms of outside your teeth. And then we'll go ahead and have you do some facial expressions as well as I will grab some gloves and then I'll go ahead and do a few different um, just sensations okay. so you'll be able to feel some things. So let me get all set up here. So I'm going to go ahead and use a hand sanitizer because the extra cream never hurts. Yes. So while I'm getting my gloves on, I want you to go ahead and smile for me as big as you can. Beautiful smile. Thank you. Now go ahead and frown for me. Good job. And how about a pucker like you're going to kiss someone? I kind of need to make a beautiful. Now I want you to go from smiling to pucker like this. Great job. Can you squint your eyes? Ready? How about raise your eyebrows? Nice. I like it. <laughs> Okay, now can I have you go ahead and shrug your shoulders? And can I have you move your head from left to right? Up and down? All the way around? Woo, now that we're all Woo! loose. Great job. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and have you do some things with your tongue. And okay. I'm gonna bring my fancy dancy tongue depressor over to you. It is cherry flavored, so yeah. hopefully it tastes a little bit better than your normal popsicle stick. I'm gonna have you stick your tongue all the way out for me as far as you can. Beautiful. I'm gonna come up over here. Now I want you to stick it out and I want you to touch it. Great, I'm gonna push, don't let me. Great job. Now I'm gonna have you stick your tongue out and touch it. All the way, thanks. Great job, and the other side. Great job, wow, great. Your tongue is really strong. Go ahead and lick your lips just like you had a really great dinner. Good job. Now I'm gonna stick your tongue all the way out. Good, can I have you say ah? Ah. Uh, now I'm gonna have you stick it out one more time. I'm gonna press down. Good. Did anything feel weird or abnormal? Though. I'm glad it tasted great. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a peek inside, okay? So I'm going to have you do the same thing again, but I want you to look up at me. And then I'm going to have you make that uh, sound just nice and gentle, okay? So stick your tongue all the way up. Go ahead. Uh, Can you say eat, eat, eat? Uh, uh, uh. One more time. Uh, uh, uh. Great. Everything looks good in there. Now one more big ah. Uh, uh. And go uh. ahead and smile for me. Nice job. Set this down over here. All right, so now I'm gonna touch a few areas on your face. Now let me know if anything's uncomfortable or anything hurts. Just let me know by either raising okay. your hand or telling, hey, 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 stop, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch your cheeks first. Okay. Anything hurt there? Mm -mm. Can you go ahead and open your mouth? Close it, bite down real hard. Now open and close all together. Good job. Now have you close your eyes. Do you feel anything here? Mm -hmm. Where is here? Top left of, of my forehead. Okay. How about now? Right cheek. How about now? Left chin. How about here? Right forehead. How about here? Left cheek. And here? Right chin. Okay. How about here? Ooh. Um, <laughs> um, I'm underneath my neck. Uh, in the middle. Okay. And how about here? Behind my ears. Go ahead and open your eyes for me. Thank you. So now what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and take a big deep breath in. And let it out. <sighs> Anything feel weird? Hurt? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to have you say pa 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 pa. Pa 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 pa. Okay. Now can you do that when you pinch your nose? Open and close. Pa pa pa. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's okay. Pa 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 pa. Great job. Okay. Mm. Now, if I touch back here, anything relevant? Mm -mm. Any pain? No pain. Any soreness? Mm -mm. Okay. How about here? Slight, slight notice of like pressure. Okay. But not a. Ah! No, probably okay. just like I'm tired from the day. Okay. Sounds good. Now I'm gonna come in right on your larynx, okay. which is your voice box, a lot of people call it. It's a little weird of a feeling, so okay. I apologize in advance. So I'm gonna stick my fingers right up in here for you. And go ahead and swallow for me. Did that hurt? Mm -mm. Nope, any pain in general? Just any... slight awareness, okay. but like not pain. 
Good. Any dryness when you swallowed? Mm -hmm. well, it's been a long day. I think it's just like really good to. Yeah. I need nope. to drink some water. Sounds good. All right. Well, we got that done. Now I'm going to have you say a couple sounds for me, if that's okay. Let me get to the right page so I can write down what I need to. Okay. Okay. So you were an excellent person in general at saying pa before. So I'm going to have you say pa again. So let's pa. practice pa. pa. I'm going to say it two times in a row. Pa, pa. Pa, pa. Now can I have you do it as many times as you can? Pa, 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 pa. Awesome job. We have a visitor, but she's just checking on you, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and start a timer. And okay. I want you to say it as many times as you can on one breath. Okay. Okay? Yes. So you're going to take a deep breath in. Out. And when you're ready, take another deep breath in and start. Okay. okay. Nice job. Excellent. Okay, now I'm gonna have you say ta. Ta. Same way we just did with the putt. So ta 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 Last one, we're gonna put them all together. Okay. So it's gonna be pataka. Pataka. Okay, so let's practice that twice in a row because it's tricky. Pataka, pataka. Pataka, pataka. So you're gonna do pataka, 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 pataka as much as you can on that one breath. Okay. okay? So deep breath whenever you're ready and start. Pataka, 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 pataka. Nice job. Excellent. Okay. Got that out of the way. Let me get this paperwork moved. Now that we've got that all completed. Oops. Clipboard is running away from me. Okay. And then I want you to do one last thing. Okay. I want you to go ahead and say, ah. Uh, uh, Anything hurt there? Feel weird? Mm -hmm. Good, because we're going to be doing that a lot in a minute, okay? okay. Great. Oops, so sorry. So I went ahead and I know that I already gave a form to your roommate to fill out, okay. fill out a little yes. bit about your, your voice, but mm -hmm. now I want you to fill out that same form because it's going to give me a good picture kind of comparing how you think it sounds versus how maybe some people around you think it sounds. So I'm going to give you this and okay. go ahead and take a minute to fill that out. I'll let you borrow my clipboard if you'd like. Okay. Really short really and painless, fast. right? Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't click it yet. No, it's okay. I poke myself with my pens all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and ask you a few questions. Okay. And I want you to answer them as honestly as it, yeah. excuse me, as honestly as you can. Okay. Um, no pressure. There's no right or wrong answers with this. It's purely just whatever your answer is to it. Okay. okay. All right. So, I want you to respond with a number between zero and four. Zero being never. Okay. One being almost never. Two, sometimes. Three, almost always. And four, always. Okay. So, zero at never, four always. If you need me to repeat those at any time, just let me know. Okay. okay. So, my voice makes it difficult for people to hear me. Zero. Okay. People have difficulty understanding me in a noisy room. Zero. My family has difficulty hearing me when I call them throughout the house. Zero. I use the phone less often than I would like to. Zero. I tend to avoid groups of people because of my voice. Zero. I speak with friends, neighbors, or relatives less often because of my voice. Zero. 
People ask me to repeat myself when speaking face to face. One. Okay. Especially with the masks. Ah, uh, I know. Masks make it hard when you put on. My voice difficulties restrict my personal and social life. Zero. I feel left out of conversations because of my voice. Zero. My voice problem causes me to lose income. Zero. I run out of air when I talk. Zero. The sound of my voice varies throughout the day. One-ish. One. People ask, what's wrong with your voice? Zero. My voice sounds creaky and dry. One. I feel as though I have a, have a strain to produce my voice. At the end of the day, maybe one. So if you're thinking of like your normal, is it always, never, sometimes? Sometimes. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. The clarity of my voice is unpredictable. Zero. I use a great deal of effort to speak. Zero. My voice is worse in the evening. One. My voice gives out on me in the middle of speaking. Zero. I am tense when talking to others because of my voice. Zero. People seem irritated with my voice. Zero. I find other people don't understand my problem. Zero. My cohort delays. Good. My voice problem upsets me. One. I am less outgoing because of my voice problem. Zero. My voice makes me feel handicapped. Zero. I feel annoyed when people ask me to repeat. One. I am embarrassed when people ask me to repeat. Zero. My voice makes me feel incompetent. Zero. And I am ashamed of my voice problem. Zero. Okay. Well, all the hard questions are done. <laughs> all right, so now, like I said, I had you practice that ah earlier. Uh -huh. We're gonna be putting it to work here, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna want you to go ahead and say ah for about three to five seconds. Okay. I'm just gonna listen to you do that. So whenever you're ready, that big breath and just ah. Uh, good, nice. Can you go ahead and do E? E. No. I'm just going to have some things going on here. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to have you go ahead and repeat some sentences for me, okay? And I'm okay. just going to listen. So the blue spot is on the key again. The blue spot is on the key again. How about how hard did he hit him? How hard did he hit him? Okay. We were away a year ago. We were away a year ago. Okay. We eat eggs every Easter. We eat eggs every Easter. My mama makes lemon muffins. My mama makes lemon muffins. And Peter will keep at the peak. Peter will keep at the peak. All right. Some things going on. I know. Aren't lemon muffins great? Yes. I, I honestly think. I could, well, I like banana nut muffins oh, too. Can't go wrong with banana nut. Yeah, I just, I feel like if I eat too many of them, mm -hmm. then either I don't want to eat more You'll of them. You'll get sick of them, yeah. Right, but I feel like I wish I could eat them all day long. Right. All right, so last one is I'm going to ask you two questions. Okay. And I want you to just respond to me just in a normal conversation. We kind of talked about it a little bit, but this time I'm just listening to how you're saying it, okay? okay. So tell me about your voice problem. I have noticed my voice problem, like I said, since starting grad school. Um, I never feel limited by my voice problem, but I do notice that I, I've noticed it since starting grad school. Um, I don't think it restricts my activities, but I can feel it, especially at the end of the night. and. Um, I think I get more variable towards the end of the night as well. Okay. Oh, we've got our visitor again. Come here. <laughs> Tasks. So we're going back to those sounds again because you were so great at them the first time. So this time I'm going to go ahead and time you as you do it because I want to see how long you can hold it. Okay. So the first one is I'm going to have you make an S sound. So it should sound like this. On one breath, just like you were doing with the R. Right? Okay. So whenever you're ready, take that big deep breath and okay. begin.
could have probably gone longer. Okay. Well, good thing you get to try it two more times. Ready? Go. It's like a little workout, huh? It is. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing, but with a sound. So we'll okay. practice. Just like that, right? Perfect. Okay, now that we had some technical difficulties with our recording, let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. So we were working on our sound. Yes. So again, we're going to take that big deep breath, and then you'll try to hold that as long as you can on one breath. Okay. So Are we ready? And just start, okay? Okay. last time whenever you're ready. Nice job. Very good. All right, so now we're going to pull out that ah uh, sound that we've been working on periodically. So you're going to do the same thing just with ah. Uh. So we're going to take that to big deep breath and I want you to hold it as long as you can. So ah uh, at a comfortable pitch, okay. comfortable loudness, not trying to strain or project all the way across the room, just nice, comfortable level, and keep okay. it at the same. So when you start to taper off, just That's go ahead and stop. stop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're ready, take that breath. Uh... Last one. Ooh. Ooh. Nice job. I think I started too high on that. That is okay. Sometimes it goes a little up and down and we just can't can't always control it. And that is all right. Alright, now we get to do some fun slopes. So I want you to start at that comfortable ah uh, or e, whatever's comfortable for you. Ah. Uh, Great. Now we're going to go from that ah uh, to the highest you can go where it's still comfortable. So okay. for example, ah, uh, your turn. Ah. Uh, nice. Now we're going to go from that comfortable ah uh, up and then all the way down. So okay. I'll show you. So ah. Uh, We'll do one more, starting at our comfortable ah, uh, going down as low as you can go. So, for example, ah, uh, ah, uh, nice job. Ah, you must be a professional skier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, when doing any of those exercises, did anything hurt? Did it feel <clears throat> uncomfortable? No. But I did just clear my throat twice. I know. As I know. Sometimes we start doing those workouts, kind of like after you go to spin class, and you, you, get those, like, you get tense in your mm -hmm. legs and you're just wobbly all over. Our vocal folds are muscles as well. Yes. So if we work them out, sometimes they're not very nice to us. Mm -mm. Okay, so I'm going to have you take a big deep breath for me. And let it out. Okay. And then I want you to go ahead and take a breath. 
and then sustain any sound you want. All or E. Uh, for, do you want longer? Yep, that's uh, perfect. Okay. Just marking off my checklist here so I don't miss anything. Okay. All right, so now we get to do the fun part. So I'm going to have a passage for you to read. I don't know if you like to read. I do. Oh, good, because I do as well, and I have some really fun stories here for us. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and record you when I do this, though, so that way we can get some really great numbers about how you speak and the sounds that you're using. Okay. When I hand you this, I don't want you to start right away, because okay. I do need to get a little bit closer with my microphone. When you are reading it, read at a comfortable level. Not too loud, not too quiet. Okay. Um, just how you would normally Normal read anything out loud. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you'll be reading out loud. So I'm going to hand you that first. I won't look. No worries. You can look. <laughs> Feel free to look at it. Okay. I'm going to get a little up close and personal, so I'm okay. sorry about that. Ooh, it went sliding. All right, so. Whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and start. You wish to know all about my grandfather. Well, he is nearly 93 years old. He dresses himself in an ancient black frock coat, usually minus several buttons, yet he still thinks as swiftly as ever. A long flowing beard clings to his chin, giving those who observe him a pronounced feeling of the utmost respect. When he speaks, his voice is just a bit cracked and quivers a trifle. Twice each day he plays skillfully and with zest upon our small organ. Except in winter when the ooze or snow or ice prevents, he slowly takes a short walk in the open air each day. We have often urged him to walk more and smoke less, but he always answers, banana oil. Grandfather likes to be modern in his language. Good job, that was awesome. All right, so on the back, if you go ahead and flip that over, this one's a little bit longer, so I really want you to don't go super fast, don't rush through it. Try to keep your breath when you're reading it, okay? Okay. Get my Etsy set here. All right. Let's go a little bit further this time. Whenever you're ready. When the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air, they act like a prism and form a rainbow. The rainbow is a division of white light into many beautiful colors. These take the shape of a long round arch with its path high above and its two ends apparently beyond the horizon. There is, according to legend, a boiling pot of gold at one end. People look, but no one ever finds it. When a man looks for something beyond his reach, his friends say he is looking for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Throughout the centuries, men have explained the rainbow in various ways. Some have accepted it as a miracle without physical explanation. To the Hebrews, it was a token that there would be no more universal floods. The Greeks used to imagine that it was a sign from the gods to foretell war or heavy rain. The Norsemen considered the rainbow as a bridge over which the gods passed from earth to their home in the sky. Other men have tried to explain the phenomenon physically. Aristotle thought that the rainbow was caused by reflection of the sun's rays by the rain. Since then, physicists have found that it is not reflection, but refraction by the raindrops which causes the rainbow. Many complicated ideas about the rainbow have been, have been formed. The difference in the rainbow depends considerably upon the size of the water drops, and the width of the colored band increases as the size of the drops increases. The actual, pri the actual primary rainbow observed is said to be the effect of superposition of a number of bows. If the red of the second bow falls upon the green of the first, the result is to give a bow with an abnormally wide yellow band, since red and green lights when mixed form yellow. This is a very common type of bow, one showing mainly red and yellow with little or no green or blue. Perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, I will take that from you. Thank you so much. Let me get my slippery clipboard over here. Mm -hmm. Did that feel right? It did. Anything? Is it a little bit easier than normally talking because you're reading off of it? Or I would say than the pretty normal compared to just regular conversational. I did notice I started to trip up at the end, but I think I just got tongue tied. Okay. No worries. Okay. Oh, my pen's 
bump part here. Man, everything's just sliding and opening today. So now we got that done. So now our very last thing we're gonna do is the fun part. Okay. So we're gonna get to do a, a couple exercises just to kind of play with our voice a little bit. Okay. We get to use the piano to do that. Exciting. So from that last task where I had you read out loud, I was able to get your average pitch. So your highs and lows, right where that middle is. Ah. So we're gonna go ahead and find where that corresponds on the piano. Cause there's gonna be a note that's the same. So it's kind of fun. And we'll see if you can match it. Okay. And then we'll kind of move up and down just to see where your highest point is. And the where range. Your lowest is. Exactly, okay. the range. So if you want, go ahead and stay seated or stand up, it's up to you. Let me move my chair out of the way there. Rolling over stuff. If you need to get any water, feel free to do that as well. Open your corner. Make sure we're on here. So, your fundamental frequency is right around G3. You're going to be right here. Okay, so I'm going to have you get in the do you hum first. Let's try to match. I'll show you. Okay. most comfortable right in the middle where yeah absolutely which is what we want what we expect right. so great job at that great job about everything I appreciate your patience we did have a couple technical errors going on here but you were really great throughout all of it thank you yeah of course so now what we'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and look at some of the data that I collected some of the observations I made and then we're gonna see kind of what's next whether we need to do some more assessments that involve some instruments that okay. will give us pictures and numbers um, or if we kind of know what's going on at that point. So okay. I'll be in touch with you soon. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Gotta hold that. Oh my god, oops, oops, yeah, oops. Yeah, so you can drop it. <laughs> 